Data loss prevention has gone through a massive change over the years. So even if our data sits in the cloud, or we're touching and changing data, or even creating data at the endpoint, or even if we're still using file servers and SharePoint on-premises, we can use DLP, data loss prevention policies, unified, so we're creating those up in the cloud to span all of those different services. And there's been some new changes that I'm going to show you in a second. Things like public preview, advanced controls, and DLP for email protection. So it means we don't have to protect policies using Exchange Transport rules. We have a public preview of security groups and distribution lists for Teams DLP policies, which means we can have more granular control about what uses a scope for which DLP policies. And we've streamlined the effort to review, manage, and address DLP incidents in one place. So we get more telemetry about what happened with that alert, and we're able to preview the content that was blocked by those policies as well. And lastly, another common ask that I get is, when is sensitivity labels coming for DLP policies? It's been in preview for quite a while. It's now generally available. I would have a look at that documentation because there are certain scenarios when policy tips are created or not. So what I'll do is I'll put a link to this in the description below. Okay, let's show you what's new in the portal. I'm over in the Compliance Center. We can overview page now, so we can quickly read what's the latest news on DLP. It's pretty cool. We can also see at a very high level the activities that are detected. I can click on View All Activities, and that takes me to the Activity Explorer. So this is now in here. I don't have to go up to the data classifications and do my filters. It's already filtering on DLP rules matched for me. So I can see a timeline of events about when certain DLP rules have matched. And then I can click into these to get more telemetry about that specific rule. Okay, so you're saying, Graham, yeah, we've seen this before. Show me something new. Let's head over to the Alerts tab here. And now I can see a list of both aggregated and non-aggregated alerts. And when I click into these, again, we get our telemetry blade, which is great. I can also go down here and I'm able to notify end users that we've detected this DLP policy. So I can fire that off to the individual if I need to. And I click on the view details here to open up this policy. So I get a preview about what policies have matched, uh, what the alert information is, when it was detected, what the severity is for that, the alerts for the user. So we're aggregating that for that specific user here. And then we've got some case management capabilities in here. So I can give it a status, whether I'm investigating that, for example. I can also assign it to individuals as well. So we'll pick our favorite person, Megan. Um, and I can also see the management log as well once we've saved that. So in this instance, we've detected that sensitive information was found in a Teams chat message. And we could do the same for channel messages as well. And when we click on the events tab, again, we're able to see more detailed information about who the, the receivers were of this, because we can have a one-to-many chat. We can also go into the sensitive information types that were detected, including the match sensitive content. And also we get the metadata around that. If we head back to our alerts tab, we can click on a different policy here, click on more details. And because this is a Word document that resides within SharePoint, when we go across to our events, and we can see our alert here, not only do we get the telemetry, but we also get a source view. So if we got the appropriate permissions, we can preview that content directly from the DLP management console. We can also see the sensitive information types that were in here as well, including the exact match of that data. So that's a really quick overview of the enhancements to data loss prevention. I just want to recap that DLP also goes into things like insider risk management. So we can reuse those policies in insider risk. It takes minutes to set up. We're using Microsoft information protection to do that automatic discovery and classification of data. We can protect our data there as well. And we're using our Microsoft Defender suite as well to get telemetry from the endpoint. This means our built-in solution, as it talks to all of the capabilities in Microsoft 365, gives you a better security and compliance posture across your estate. Thank you very much for your time, and I'll speak to you again soon.